Hey, what's going on everyone? I am back with a video and this video is a little bit different because we're not going to be talking about the game. We're going to be talking about a bot that you can use in your discord for the game. Um, this is amazing and it's a, a great bot that I've been using and it's uh, continually developing. Um, I know the developer uh, and he does great work and is just a great individual. So I want to kind of throw this out there to you um, because I think that this bot is going to be revolutionary in the long run and I would really like for you all to know about it and be able to start using it and get your get some benefits from it um, before maybe we see a, a premium and, and things like that, which I know will be coming for this bot. So um, this is just a way to get in, try out some features, do some different things uh, while it's still in its like beta phase and still being developed and, and, and grown. So I'm, I'm rambling on and on, but let's just jump into the video and talk about uh, some of the commands that you can currently do and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is talk about how the bot relates to your account and how you can start using the bot. First thing you're going to want to do is link your account and you can do that easily by typing W link followed by your username and hit enter and it's going to come up with a, a success or failed uh, notice and let you know this is your epic username if this is your epic account and any other accounts that it's connected to so if it's connected to switch um, Xbox Live anything like that it's going to show up on here you can also unlink your account at any time by typing W unlink and it doesn't currently give you a message and that's something that the developer is working on right now as we speak because it is supposed to give you a message saying that you successfully successfully unlinked but the way that you can test that is try to uh, use a command again um, and it'll say that you don't have any linked accounts so we'll have to link the account again and then it should come back up okay so that's one way that you can get your account linked in ready to go so you're able to use the bot Okay, now let's talk about another command that you can use for your account, and that's the W account command. When you type that in, it's gonna show you what accounts you have and what they're connected to. So it does that initially, whenever you first link your account, it will show you some things, but this gives you a little better view and shows you the Epic icon, the PlayStation icon. If you have Xbox or if you have Switch or something, it will show you all of the usernames for those uh, platforms. So this is a good way to see where is your account connected. I actually ran this and found out that somebody had connected my account to an Xbox Live. I don't know how because I didn't recognize that. So I was actually able to go in and get that removed. So this bot not only helped me, you know, to just see what I had, but it actually helped me stop somebody who could have possibly been trying to scam and take my account. All right, the next command that you can use that's tied to your account is W profile. And if you launch this command, it's going to show you a lot of good information about your uh, about your account and how it relates to the game. All right, the next command is dealing with your loadouts. You can type W loadouts and it's going to give you a view of all of your loadouts and what is in them. Uh, the good thing with this is you can see other players loadouts as well. And what I like about this is it not only gives you the hero's name in the support slots, but it also shows you their ability, their support ability, because as you know, in the game, when you're trying to look at someone's uh, uh, support squad, it'll say, uh, you know, for prehistoric is it won't say prehistoric is it it'll just show her icon and then show you her perk, which is sorry and hide so this is a good way that you can see another player's loadout and be able to mimic copy their loadout get an idea help one another out and say hey check out my loadout five you can click through go through to the different loadouts and then pull them up and then boom there you go 
All right, and for all of you hard grinders out there, you want to show off all your stuff, you can type W resources. And it's going to show all of the resources that you have. So you can flex on your flux and show people what you've got with your perk ups and evolution material, all your XP and all that good stuff. All right. The next one is going to be your daily. So you can type W daily and it's going to show you the information of what you have for your daily quest. Um, these are the ones that you can run. It's going to show you how many you have, what they are, and if you have any rerolls remaining. So this is uh, very helpful and I will uh, give you a little um, hint. There's going to be an update to this. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But I already know and have spoken with Assassin, we're going to have a great update when it comes to this daily to allow you to do some extra things. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, you can use this daily, see where you're at, how many you have, and uh, see if you need to reroll something. Along that same vein, you can also do the weekly. So type W weekly or, you know, WW, I think is all it is. And it'll pop up. It's going to say, have you done all your weekly quests for me? I don't have any weeklies because I've already done them. But if you did have something there, it would show you. All right. And uh, last but not least, when it comes to your account, for those of you that think, oh, this has all been save the world stuff. It's not just save the world. This wafer bot has so much more. You can type WSBX and you can get all of your battle pass XP and your BR stuff right here when it comes towards uh, to your battle pass. Um, and there are, are extra things in the future as well um, for BR players. Um, there's not as much of a bot needed for BR, so to speak, but um you know outside of like item shop and stuff which this bot does have by the way i'm not featuring it in this video but there's more to this bot than what we're doing here um but this uh sbx will help you track your battle pass xp so that you can see where you are currently i'm at 721.8 thousand of the 450 thousand needed to reach 100 so I'm over the limit. So that's why it shows that I'm 100%. But let's say this battle pass just started and you're only on, you know, page two or something. It's going to show you a percentage and how much battle pass XP you need to get to that tier 100. All right. So we've talked about about your profile and seeing some of your XP and stuff. Now let's talk about your progress through some of the things in the game uh, with Save the World. Ventures is a big one. A lot of people focus on the ventures. You can get some great venture information by running the code W ventures, and it's going to show you your current level, what you need to get to the next level. I'm 62% of the way to my next level of hitting 59. I'm already at 58, 62% of the way of getting to 59. This is how much XP I currently have for this segment from 58 to 59 and it shows you how much I need. So I need 200,000 to get to 59. I can track all this information right here. This is super beneficial for you venture players, especially because you can see what mission should I run or what do I need to run to help me get to that next level. So if you're grinding to 50, you want to know what's a good mission to run, what mission alert should I, you know, go after. You know, you could use this. It's super helpful. The other thing that I really like about it, well, is it shows you an end date. So in, it tells you when the next venture season roughly is going to start. All right, now on to you MSK players and those that want to flex, you can type WMSK and it's going to show you some MSK information about how many schematics you've owned, how many pre-quests you've done. I own 15 mythic schematics and I've done 24 Storm King prequests. So I've not always done the weekly, but uh, as you can tell, um, but yeah, this is a way that you can kind of flex and show what weapons you have. And sometimes, you know, things get mixed up in your armory when you're looking through your schematics and you don't want to sort that way. This is a quick, easy way for you to see what you have in Mythics alone without it getting mixed up with all your legendaries and epics and all that stuff. So um, there's no search option in Fortnite, unfortunately, when it comes to schematics. So this is a good way to do that and kind of narrow that stuff down so you can see what you have. Okay, so you can also use a uh, code WSSD 
and it's going to show you where you're at with all of your storm shield defenses and if you have completed them all you can see that i am 10 of 10 on all of them but maybe you aren't or maybe you've missed one it's been a while since you've looked at your storm shield and you might be at 9 of 10 and you just want to finish that last one well here you go quick easy way to to pull it up nothing fancy about it but it is general helpful information and as always like i said you can use it on others as well so we'll type wssd at uh assassin and let's see what assassin has done well assassin's done all his too so you can get information and most of these commands you can use with other players as well to find some information and not spy on people i'm not saying that um but just see how other players have progressed and maybe get some ideas of who you can reach out to and trust and who you shouldn't all right this next one is a fun one to play with because if you want to look up a certain schematic you can do that with this bot you can just type w schematic followed by the name and for this we'll just use uh, a baron and it will pull up the baron for you it will tell you a certain type of material its base stats all of that stuff now the thing about this command though is it's more like a search engine so you can be more detailed so let's say i wanted to see a legendary baron at tier 5 with sunbeam I can type the W schematic Baron uh, tier five Sunbeam legendary and there you go it pulls up a Baron with Sunbeam at tier five legendary and shows you all of the melee stats so this is really cool if you're wanting to look at different weapons and get an idea for how they work and operate and all that stuff. So uh, the image will show here. It's just this um, this channel that I created just for this video. I don't have that selected on, but it would norm uh, show you the image right there. Um, so it's just I don't have those embeds on for this channel, um, but it shows you the crafting ingredients as well. Um, explains it. I mean, this is just a great way to, to look at stuff. So uh, let's take a look at one more here just because and W schematic and let's say Ravager. I love the Ravager. There you go. Tier five sword material sunbeam and it's showing you all the stats on it. So there you go. This is a great way to look at different things. Um, we will be implementing, I say we, like I'm actually coding. I have no idea. I've just suggested that we add the other things in here, uh, which Assassin's gonna be working on, such as traps and stuff like that. So um, those are some things that we're gonna see in the future as well. Um, like I said, a lot of updates coming, but this is really fun to play with and you can get an idea of weapons and what they do before you buy them. All right, and in the news segment, you can get BR news by typing WBR news, and it's going to show you all the different news features, and you can click through and get links to all of that information. You can also do the same thing with Save the World uh, by typing STW, WSTW news, and there you go. You can cycle through and look through the news updates on Save the World. There are some more features coming to this news um, and it's going to be more detailed and it's going to contain a lot more than what you see here. All right, so there you guys have it. That is some of the bot. That's not all of it. Not by a long shot. Um, this bot has so much that you can do with it and I absolutely love it. I use it all the time and you guys definitely should use it as well. Uh, feel free to stop in uh, to uh, the Onyx server, which I will have linked down below. Feel free to jump into True Warrior Gaming, uh, which is always linked down below in my videos. And you guys can start using this bot right now. Um, spread the word. It's right now it's free to use. There is going to be a paid premium version uh, of this bot coming out. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm also going to be giving away one month access codes when the premium hits and that's going to happen very soon so be on the lookout for that as well 
and there is so much more to come. I'm going to be making more videos as updates come out for WaferBot because I really believe in this bot. I, I know the developer and he is a great guy and I it's just it's going to be a real game changer and a help to all save the world battle royale just Fortnite players in general. So I can't encourage you enough to give this thing a shot. Um, if you have any suggestions that you want to throw in, you can type W suggestion and then type your suggestion. It automatically creates an embed for the developer and he's able to look at it and and add those things to his list. So uh, like I said, there's so much to it. I could go on and on about this, but feel free to just drop into the Onyx server, um, which is the server ran by the developer for the WaferBot. You can also drop into True Warrior Gaming and join in on, with our community, use the bot there, see how we're implementing it, and uh, ask any questions if you have them. I am more than happy to answer any questions, or if somebody wants to know how to do something, feel free to hit me up or one of my mods up in our server, and we'll be more than happy to help. But uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys have used this bot, or if you do use it, let me know if it works for you. I want some feedback. Please provide me with some feedback about this bot. Um, because I would never want to suggest something to people that is not going to be beneficial for them. So let me know. Is it working for you? Is it not working for you? Are you having problems? And then that way we can uh, start working on those and getting them together. 